Vladimir Putin, one of the most powerful people of modern times. And you're probably wondering to yourself, Blaze, why are you making a video about Vladimir Putin? Well, guys, I just want you to think right now off the top of your head, who are the most powerful people in the world, right? A few names come to mind. Um, a few names come to mind like, you know, Elon, Zuckerberg, Gates, these super wealthy, you know, tech billionaires, a lot of these hedge fund billionaires, private equity billionaires. Yeah, they have a lot of power. But Vladimir Putin, I would argue, is the most powerful man in the world, right? Him, along with Xi Jinping in China, um, United States president does not really have that much power. Um, we all know that there's people behind the scenes pulling the strings, actually making things happen. But guys, in this book uh, by Philip Short, it's a great book. It outlines Putin's entire life, right? From the beginning, um, learning how he grew up, right? And I just want to talk about a few things that I learned in this book about Putin, um, and I'm also going to touch on because this interview came out yesterday with Putin and Tucker Carlson. I'll talk about that a little bit. But just to start off, Putin's early life, right? Growing up in the Soviet Union um, wasn't easy by any means, guys. Um, unless you were, you know, the child of an oligarch, um, you didn't really live a very great life. Um, it, was it was tough, for sure. And, you know... I think that the one thing I've learned um, about Russia, about the Soviet Union, was that people were very cold. Um, and I still think Russians have that um, kind of stereotype that, right, they have no emotion. They don't, you know, have any facial expressions. They just, you know, have, you know, a blank stare, that kind of thing. But Putin really embodies that, right? I never see the guy, I mean, rarely do I see him crack a smile, Um Putin always has this intense, you know, face, this intense stare, and um, he never cracks, right? And he's very good at that. And I remember reading in one of the early chapters from someone who knew Putin when he was young, they said about him, yeah, he didn't even smile when he was young. Like, he always had that blank face, that blank stare. Um, and he didn't, even if, you know, for example, Putin would get into fights when he was in school. And even if he would get hurt and he would, you know, lose the fight, he wouldn't show any emotion. No crying. Um, he would just have a blank face. Um, that poker face has served him very well. Um, you know, I think... In, let's go to the interview with Tucker that he just had. In this interview he just had with Tucker Carlson, uh, Putin was saying a lot of stuff that, of course, you know, he knows to be, you know, fabricated. Um, he's lying blatantly at some points in the interview. Um, but he just keeps a blank stare the entire time. And he never, he never makes you think that, um, he, he never makes you think that he's lying. Um, he really is good at manipulation. A lot of people just think, oh yeah, he's telling the truth, right? He's, he's just walking through all this stuff about history, the history of Russia and Ukraine and using it as a justification for why Ukraine is rightfully Russia's territory. Um, so that was an interesting interview. Um, but the second thing I want to talk about guys that I learned in this book is that Putin did not have a normal rise to power, right? No one would have expected that he would have gotten there, right? For a lot of people, it's like, okay, uh, if you're the son of a Bush or, uh, you know, if you're a Clinton, then, you know, you have an advantage. You have a political family. You can rise to the top, become president. But that does not, that is not how it works um, with Putin, right? Putin's family did not come from you know, a lot of money, didn't have any political power, weren't in politics at all. And Putin managed to climb his way up um, after not doing well in school 
after being a rebel, uh, fighting people a lot, getting into a lot of fights, um, Putin managed to work his way up. First by, you know, he joined the KGB. They brought him over to Germany. Um, he served over there for a while in a role. Uh, and then came back to Russia, uh, Leningrad, um, St. Petersburg, worked in all these places in, you know, low-level roles, slowly worked his way up, and then he developed a close relationship with um, Yeltsin, uh, former president, uh, prime minister, Russia. Um, and through that relationship, he was able to, you know, kind of work his way up to the top. And at one point, you know, Putin just became the, you know, the only person in Yeltsin's mind to take him over um, after his presidency was over. Um, so Putin did not have a normal rise to power, guys. And I think that's how it works with a lot of the people that we've studied. Uh, a lot of people we studied, you would have never expected that they would have gotten to the top if you knew their background, right? They were just you know, a normal, normal person came from, you know, normal means, um, didn't have much, but through sheer force of will and through connecting with the right people. And of course, being in the right place at the right time plays a big role in a lot of these things. But I think that a lot of this stuff is in our control. Um, if we are strategic and we really think about, okay, what do I want? Who are the people I want to surround myself with? And what do I have to do to get there, right? Be very methodical. Always think about the next step in your progression to get to where you want to go. Okay, I'm here now. What do I need to do next? And then after that, and then after that. And look, a lot of these things are not going to work out the way that we want them to, guys. They, they aren't. Um, and oftentimes when we try and set a super straight and narrow path, um, it doesn't work out, we get discouraged, then we quit whatever we're doing. Um, a lot of people who are ultra successful now, if you would have asked them 10, 20 years ago, if, you, if you, they would have been in this position, um, they would have said, no, I would have thought that was crazy. Um, so yeah, guys, I think we have to strike this balance between you know, being strategic and having this idea in our mind of where we want to go with also being able to, you know, go with the flow and, and take, you know, wherever life takes you, just accept it, run with it, be the best in whatever you're doing, um, and just keep pushing, keep pushing, and things will work themselves out in the end. And maybe you'll end up in a position that you never would have thought you'd be in, but you're so happy that you're there now, right? So that was another lesson I learned from Putin. Um, you know, you can never, there's no straight and narrow path. Um, you can come from nothing and you can rise to the top, um, of your field. Uh, and then Putin became president guys. The guy has served as president for so long. Uh, I forgot how many years at this point now. I, I think it's 12 or 16 years. Um, he served in the role of president, uh, at Russia and, you know, Putin is uh, a master manipulator, guys. Um, great at propaganda. Very smart. Very smart. Very intelligent man. Um, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He knows when he's lying. Guys, he's not ignorant. Um, he's also very, like, when, when I listen to him talk, um, you know, I don't know what to believe, but a lot of it is unbelievable. Like, his recognition and recall of like the history of Russia, um, and world affairs, uh, and, you know, dynamics between different countries. He's an expert at that. He plays his cards right. Um, and working all the way up to where he is today, guys, and the invasion of Ukraine and all this stuff. I mean, obviously it's sad to see what happened over there. Um, Putin thinks Ukraine is his. Um, it is his land, part of, you know, the old Russia before the Soviet Union. Ukraine was Russia, um, and he believes it's rightfully his. He doesn't actually believe that 
Ukraine exists as a country. Um, he doesn't believe Ukrainians exist as a people. Um, he thinks he thinks it's a totally made up, uh, you know, group of people. So, you know, we'll see where this all plays out. I uh, after listening to his interview with Tucker, I I don't know what to make of that. Um, I'm not an expert in uh, Russian history or in, you know, geopolitics. Um, so I'm not going to act like I am, but I'm keeping a close eye on this man. And I think it's important to study someone like this because, um, you know, although there's a lot of bad, um, there's a lot of good lessons you can learn as well about how to rise to the top and remain at the top. So, yeah, guys, I would suggest go pick up this book by uh, Philip Short. It's really good, really good. I, I, uh, I, I definitely recommend it. You'll get a really good glimpse into the life of Putin. Um, and I think it's important you read this, too, because on, you know, American media, everyone uh, just talks terribly about Putin, talks about how much of a horrible person he is. But in this book, you really learn who he is. And you get a good glimpse of his life story and, you know, the things that he's gone through, right? Where he's been, being in, you know, an intelligence officer in the KGB um, and how knowledgeable he truly is. It is no coincidence. It is no mistake that a man can be in a role like the president of Russia for that long without being incredibly smart and strategic. Okay, guys, like it's impossible. Uh, you have to be smart. You have to be strategic if you're going to get to that role and stay in that role for so long, right? And honestly, guys, if, if they wanted to take out Putin by now, they would have done it already. Um, so Putin really does have support from the people around him. Um, and of course, people are like, oh, he's a thug. You know, if you don't support him, he'll just kill you. Um, I don't see it that way. I don't think it's that simple, guys. Um, but anyways, yeah, highly recommend. Go read the book. You'll learn a lot about him, uh, about Russia, about, uh, you know, how this world really works. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Talk to you soon. This is Blaze of Science signing off. Bye.